OK, so let's use FFmpeg to split up a video into separate segments. So I'm going to use this video here, which is cars underscore timecode. So let's just watch that. So MPV cars. So you can see that it's just a video of cars on a motorway with the timecodes embedded. So let's just skip all the way through that so you can see how long it is. And at about one minute, the cars start going backwards. So it is about two minutes long. So let's just close that. So let's take a 10 minute segment from this video starting at 110 seconds. So to do that, all we need to do is type in FFmpeg dash I and the name of the video file, which is cars underscore timecode. And then we need to give it our start time in seconds. So dash SS, which is for start seeking from, let's say, let's do 90 seconds actually. So from 90 seconds, which is a minute and 30 seconds. And instead of putting an end time, all we need to do is give a duration. So we want our clip to be 10 seconds long, starting from 90 seconds. So dash T 10. And finally, we need to set up our output codec. So for our video codec, as there's no audio on this video file. So we're going to do dash C colon V and we're going to type in copy. Now, what this does is it actually just copies the stream directly. And you'll see why this isn't such a good idea if you care about frame accuracy. But we're going to do that for now as it's really fast. And let's just put our file now. So the file name we're going to use is slice.mp4. So it's an MP4 container and just hit enter and we're done. So if we LS, let me just clear that. You can see that we have our slice file. And if we use MPV to view this, you'll see that it starts at one minute and 31 seconds when it should actually start at one minute and 30 seconds. And if you see right at the beginning of this bar, you can see we've got that white space. So it's not exactly starting where we wanted it to start. And let's just go to the end. It ends in the correct place, but it doesn't start in the correct place. Now, this is one of the problems that you will run into if you use copy to copy the stream directly instead of re-encoding your video clip. So let's change that quickly. So instead of having copy, let's use h264 underscore nvenc. Now you need to have a current NVIDIA graphics card to use this codec. If you don't, you can just use H264 and it would be libx H264, I believe. But I'm just going to use the NVENC version just because it's faster. And I'm just going to set the QP value to 16. So that's constant quantization uh, of 16. Basically, the lower that number is, the higher quality the video clip is. So that should do it for that. And let's just rename this to slice two and hit enter. And we're done. So let's just LS. So we have slice two. So let's use MPV on that. So slice two. And you can see that this clip starts at one minute and 30 seconds and it should end at 139 and 29 frames. So let's go to the end. And there we go. It ends in the correct place. So you can see that we can take a slice out of a video at any point that we want. Let's just have a look at our FFmpeg command line quickly. So we've set the time in seconds. So we said start from the 90th second. Now what we could have done is instead of doing it in the seconds format, we could have said one minute and 30 seconds. So that would be 0, 1, 30. And if we had hours, if it was a really long clip, we would put the hours here. So let's just delete that and make sure there's a space there. So that would be zero hours, one minute and 30 seconds. And we can have fractions of seconds as well. So 0.52 seconds. This format of specifying the time is acceptable to FFmpeg. In fact, let's just run this, but let's change that to, let's say start from the 30 second second and let's say We'll put zero, 00 for the milliseconds. So our new clip is going to start at one minute and 32 seconds, and it's going to be 10 seconds in length. So let's just do that. And let's just change it to slice three. And if we just LS and use MPV to play that, so slice three. So you can see it starts at one minute and 32 seconds. 
and it ends at 1 minute and 41 seconds and 29 frames. Also, if this video clip did have audio, we would have to set an audio codec as well. So we could do that like this. So dash C colon A, and then let's just say AAC. That's a valid audio codec. So it all depends on what audio and video codecs you want to use for your video. So let's get rid of that. So let's say that we wanted to chop up our video clip all into 10 second segments, or let's say we have a longer video clip and we want to chop it up into 10 minute segments. The same method will apply. What we would first need to do is find out the total duration of our original video clip. And we can do that with another command, which is part of the FFmpeg tool suite, which is called ffprobe. So if we type in ffprobe-v, and let's just say we only want to see errors, and dash show underscore entries and format equals duration. And then let's just provide our file name. So that's cars, sorry, cars underscore timecode.mp4. Hit enter. You can see that we get the duration here, but it's surrounded by all of these tags and it's got the key here. So we can actually get rid of that using this command. And we just need to use dash OF, which is output format. And we want default equals no print underscore wrappers. So that will get rid of the format wrappers. In fact, let's just uh, hit enter on that. And let me just fix that. So that should be equals one. So no print wrappers equals one hit enter and we're just getting the duration. Now all we need to do is get rid of that key as well. So if we just modify this a little bit and just come back over to that one and we're going to add another option. So colon no key equals one. So that should get rid of the key. So if we hit enter now, we should just get 120 point and then six zeros, which is exactly what we get. So now that we can get the duration of a video clip, we can use that in a very small script that will allow us to chop up a video into whatever size segments we want. And I've already written a script that does that. So let's just ls and let's have a look at chunk.sh. So let me just make this a little bit zoomed out so it doesn't wrap so much. There we go. So all we're doing is we're getting the duration of our video clip. And I've just hard coded the video clip here, but you could modify this and have command line arguments. So make it more general. So what we're doing here is we're just stripping off the decimal place and the zeros that follow it from our duration. So we're only going to get 120 and that's so we can use test to evaluate it. So a is zero currently. So that's think of that as the very start of our video clip. Our clip duration is 10 seconds. So what we're doing here is we're saying while a is less than or equal to our duration, take a 10 second slice out of our video and write it to a new file. And then what we're doing here is we're just incrementing A. So we're saying A equals A plus the clip length. So we're working our way down through the clip and generating output files. And let me just modify this because I've got copy in there and I don't want that in there. So let's just get rid of this and let's use h264 underscore mvenc and set the qp to let's set it to 15 that'll do so there we go so let's just save this and run this and i'll probably just fast forward this because it might take a few seconds so here we go and we're done so if we just ls you can see that we have all of these output files. So let's just pick one to play. So MPV output, and let's go for 60. So you can see that it starts at one minute exactly. And if we just play it, it finishes at one minute, nine seconds and 29 frames. So it's exactly a 10 second clip. So let's take a look at the last clip that we produced. So MPV output, and it's 120. And it says no video or audio stream selected. So let's look at the one just before that. So MPV output and it's 110. So this should end at exactly 1 minute 59 seconds and 29 frames. So why did we write out this extra file that effectively doesn't contain any video frames? 
So if we just open up the script again quickly, so chunk.sh, the reason why that happened is because I'm using less than or equal to instead of just less than. And the reason why I did that is because if there were a couple of extra frames in this video, so let's say it wasn't exactly 120 seconds long, let's say it was 120 seconds and then 15 frames. If we just had less than, we would have missed those frames. So our output, our final output file, would not have contained those extra couple of frames. So this probably isn't the best way to do this, but it is close enough. So let's just close this. And let's just check the file sizes of our output files. So ls-lah. And you can see that 120 is significantly smaller than all of our other files. So that's just one thing to watch out for if you do use this method. The last file that it generates may not actually contain any video. Okay, so that's brought us to the end of this video on how to split video up using FFmpeg into multiple chunks. So please don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching. Goodbye.